I am just the instrument that God will use to analyze and to also discharge the heavenly vision and the prophetic revelations that cannot be gotten by ordinary mind, that cannot be gotten by ordinary people, but the people that God himself has loaded with the Spirit of God to discharge the duty of the Spirit. You know, last time I made you to understand that I said that God is never mute. God is a God that has been speaking all the time. There's never a time that God will not speak. Now, I want to say this now. This, I want to say, is very important. One is, any group of people, or a country, or a nation, or a tribe, or a, 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 an association, or a church, or family, or any setting, that God has given a prophet to speak about their matters, about their issues, is the most blessed people on the face of the earth. Now, when I talk about God giving a servant of God or a prophet to prophesy about your issues, one thing you must look out for it's not, I am a prophet, I am a prophet, I am a prophet. One thing you must look out for is what is called the accuracy and the grace that is upon the individual or person that God is using to speak or discharge his word to all over the place. Now, you should be proud that you are among the people that are connected to this major prophet of God. Thank God the way God has moved me. But the virtue of things that God has shown me in life and things I've seen with my eyes and what I've been through in life and the channel that God has taken me and the refining process that God has refined me, it has humbled me the more and has made me to be very, very accessible. Some people that doesn't carry this half of this grace, before you talk with them, it's like you want to talk to God. Before you get close or you get connected to them, it's as if you want to travel to heaven or you go to America to see the president of a country. But God has given us the opportunity, given us most accurate prophet on the planet Earth to prophesy things, say it the way it's going to be, a week before the time, four days before the time, two days before the time, a day before the time, hours before the time, say it year before the time, and they all begin to happen the way it is said. When you have the opportunity to be connected with such a prophet, either by subscription or by any means, please do a favor. What is the favor? Always share our videos. Go to the YouTube and share our video. Go to the Facebook and share our videos. Connect your friends, your loved ones. You don't know who and who you are trying to save by connecting them and making them to be following our channel. These are the major things you need to do. Now, if a nation or a country or a, a city or a people or a tribe are blessed or a church or organization are blessed to have a prophet that can see what God is saying and digest it to the people and it begins to happen, those people should not take that their prophet for granted. They should not look down on that their prophet and say, oh, hey, man of God, you clap the hand. No. Do everything possible to put your massive support your massive and support support is prayers support is different kind of means that you can make sure that that your own progress that that your own is on the top that that your own has every support financially materially and otherwise do everything possible to make sure that you support that your own because or that dignity this is not common it doesn't come to all tribes at the same time it doesn't come to nations at the same time. It comes once in a generation. God gifted it a man with such a grace to specialize or to, 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 to capitalize or to be an expert in hearing the voice of God towards issues or towards matters. These are the kind of people you must give all your support. Broadcasting our broadcast, connecting people to watch us, making sure that everything that drop here is heard all over the place, supporting financially and otherwise, making sure that that people, that very prophet or that ministry or that organization that has such a person, they lack nothing. They have everything. 
these are the things you need to do for the generation to come and even the generation we are in making sure that the best is seen and known all over the place if you are a child of God if you are a believer you need intercession all the time this is why God said that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God making intercession for the church and this is why no matter what the world do the world can never ever, ever stop the church the church is unstoppable the church can never be stopped and the church can never be quenched the church can never ever be taken back the church will always prevail the church will always win the church will always take lead spiritually because there is a great intercession going on for the church right in the heavenly places at the right hand of god and so any country that want to succeed must subscribe to intercessors any country that want to make headway that want to prosper must subscribe to intercessor any country that want to achieve progress that want to achieve success that want to achieve greatness they must do everything possible to subscribe straight away to intercessors how do we connect with intercessors all we just need is to appreciate god all the country just need is to appreciate god all the country need is to carry the, 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 the vessels of God along. What they need is to carry the vessels of God along. Especially the vessels of God that God is using to speak. Carry them along. Put matters ahead of them. Let them handle issues. Because the way they will handle issues, look at what happened in the case of, uh, of Joshua. Joshua and the Israelites. When they got before the river Jordan, which was the last river they are going to cross to enter into the promised land what happened moses was not there gideon as the captain of the host what did god told him uh, uh, joshua what did god told him god said tell the people that are carrying the ark that they are the first people to step into the river that when they carry the ark they enter into the river the river jordan will part into two and there will be a dry ground for the people to walk to the dry ground and get to the promised land and what happened because of this instruction joshua communicated it with the elders and also communicated it with the people that were cutting the ark they were the people that took that step and when they enter into the river jordan what did the river do the river had to part into two for the people to now move over and possess their possession so we need to all understand what intercession is all about and what intercession is all about and everybody need to vibe into it every one minute prayer you pray in your house has a long way to go it goes for the country it goes for the nation it goes for your business it goes for families and the highest prayer you pray is the prayer of intercession the prayer you pray for the things that are not within yourself you are not praying oh god give me money in my pocket oh god heal me oh god deliver me god lift me up you are praying god lead those people that are in the place of desert, those people that are crying in the bush, those people that are under incarceration, those people that are in pains, those people that their houses are being burnt, those people that are running at a scatter, oh God, go there, deliver them, set them free. Now, these intercessions work as a living spirit. When you speak the word, something will happen in the realm of the spirit, the angels of the intercession will dispatch straight away to whatever you are praying and they will go into action if i tell you the kind of prayer we are praying that has kept everything and made the, the type of war that the enemy planned to cause in this country if i tell you the type of prayer and the type of intercession that we have made and they still praying that the hand of the lord will prevail everything must be amicably done not by destruction not by killing if I tell you the powerful prayers and intercession we have made that prevailed and the hand of God has been holding and making sure things are done the right way and not to kill the people and not for people to die. You may not believe it, but the frank truth is that prayer is the power needed to help the nation, to help the people, to deliver the people and to push things forward and to move on. That's why countries like the United States of America, they cannot do without having a budget for their intercessors in white house they have their prayers intercessors come to the white house and they do their prayer 
So that prayer is very, very important because when you talk about that prayer, you are talking about the move of God, the dimension of heaven that can never be thwarted. And the people to make intercession, it doesn't matter who you are. Anybody that God chooses, anybody that begins to see great things, you are also an intercessor. So we must all take the strategy of intercession. What is the strategy of intercession? Begin to pray towards that issue, those issues, those matters that we are seeing, that is uh, problems. Begin to pray towards that angle. When you wake up in the morning, pray. About to sleep, pray. You in midnight, you wake up to urinate or to take care of yourself as you are going for urinating. Pray that prayer. As you are praying that prayer, it's going a long way. It's more powerful than any bullet, more powerful than any soldier, more powerful than any uh, uh, whatever anybody wants to do, that prayer is more powerful because God in heaven is the God that answers the prayer. So, may the Lord bless every and each of you that have listened to me and I'll catch up with this prophetic revelation, this prophetic analysis. And I pray that as God has analyzed all these things, your eyes will open and you begin to see great things. As I see great things, anything you see and you pray towards it, let heaven begin to make it to work out and the end of it all you will be glad that what you prayed about God answered it and God has done something about it and also never you in your life condemn yourself or neglect yourself or take yourself backward or look at yourself as nobody always put yourself among what God is doing accept what God is doing follow what God is doing at the end we will all rejoice and celebrate in Jesus most precious name I pray amen I pray for all the viewers Whosoever have one issue or the other, you are looking for intercession to come to you. I pray that God will stretch his hand and God will touch you and things will turn around in the name of Jesus. So you also need to align with the prophetic. What is the prophetic? The prophetic is the revelations that God is also releasing. The ones God show you in your dreams, the one God show through a major prophet of God, and the one God is speaking to the nation, the one God is releasing in the air need to learn how to key to all these things and begin to pray. And then I said uh, something about uh, supporting the, 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 what is called intercession. You know, some people are, are, are not having the chance, but there are people that have called this their duty. People that have taken this as their duty. What is their duty? Now, I, I've already taken the prophetic and the work of God and the intercession as my duty. Whether come rain or shine or whatever light or no light, I must stay in this office to do what God has asked me to do for the world at large. And so, you that may not have the opportunity to be doing the same thing, you can partner with us with your financial support. You can say, oh, I don't have all the time to pray, but man of God, let this be used to, you know, fuel the, 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 the diesel, the diesel, the, this thing, to run the TV, to run the program. You use your financial support and give the support Whatever it is you want to use to support the work, you support the work financially. You cannot say, oh, oh, I'm not in Nigeria. If you want to support from America, want to support from Austria, want to support from anywhere, make sure you do because it's very, very important. The account number is always available. You can support and you can make sure that the gospel is preached. You can make sure that the intercession continues to go. Not something that is going today is going and tomorrow is no more. It must be something that will be going and everybody in the world will have to see it because God has given you the privilege and the opportunity to be part of what is happening this event of time. You are completely part of it. Put your support to make sure that intercessions are going on, to make sure that intercessions are going, to make sure that at least people are praying and you are supporting them to pray. Because there are so many revelations that God is giving that can never be gotten ordinarily. I never get it ordinarily, except spiritually, except by God's grace. And so, wherever you are, make sure that at least you are doing one thing. Because whatever you are doing now goes a long way and counts for you. Because on the last day when we get to heaven, everything you have done will be brought to record. And they'll say, oh, yes, this is his rule. This is what he has done. This is what she has done. So that intercession it's very important. I know that as you support in prayers, in one way or the other, we will pray and we will see the answer to our prayers in Jesus' most precious name. 
we pray in Jesus' name. 